And welcome back to CEDAR's uh, final election update for the evening. We have some important news for you, a final update. Lauren has the news. Well, uh, for all of those of you who have tuned in tonight, first of all, thank you. Uh, secondly, the biggest news of tonight is that our president has been determined. Barack Obama will be uh, reelected for another four years. Uh, it is projected according to a ton of news sites that he has received so far, 274 <coughs> electoral votes out of the 270 that are needed. He won a lot of battleground states, uh, such as Ohio, which was a big one, New Hampshire, Wisconsin, Iowa, and a couple of others are still being determined, but regardless, he will be our president for the next four years. Um, Ohio was important, uh, and we said earlier that uh, Green County could be a deciding factor. I said could. It, it wasn't really. We ended up we, uh, we ended up going red, but Ohio still went to uh, Obama, according to CNN and Fox News. Uh, but we're really going to find the change happening, though. Not only do we keep the current president, but the size in the House and Senate are the same. A lot of Republicans in the House, a lot of uh, Democrats in the Senate. You're asking, well, what's the big difference? The big difference is they've been really polarized. There are more Republicans in the House than before, and there are more, Senate, more Democrats in the Senate than before. This means that there's going to be less bipartisanship. There's going to be a lot more gridlocks, I think, in the future. Uh, it could be a really difficult struggle ahead for Americans, and we're going to need a lot of compromise if we're going to enact any change in this nation and deal with the problems that we face today. All right, I'd like to thank each of our panelists for um, coming here this evening and uh, giving us their thoughts on all the issues and uh, the updates throughout the evening. Um, I'd like to thank uh, John, Jordan, and Lauren for coming here this evening. And I'd also like to thank you, the listeners and, and viewers, for tuning in this evening um, to our election coverage. Thanks for tuning in.